of my builds. So um, if you follow me and you know about my high D builds, you know that I did five of each different color dial and one extra for myself. So this is my build in blue. And uh, my buddy had made me this awesome, super, super, super soft and pliable bun strap with white and blue. So I thought since I've got a blue with white dial, this would be the perfect one uh, to put together. So uh, we did a, what was that one? That was nano blue, N-A-N-O, nano blue case with a nano blue buckle. We did a white Cerakoted crown and white Cerakoted bezel. And then I did a blue minute insert on that. A little bit brighter on the color. But to tie it in, I did a uh, custom painted white seconds hand with a matching blue uh, pip in there. So white handset. <clears throat> this is one of my custom dials. If you look real close, which you might not be able to see it, but you get a little BVW in the back of the chopper there. Uh, this is the Hind D4. Um, so that means I have done... Um, yeah, the brass one was D1. Silver was D2. Orange is D3. <clears throat> so um, uh, this is D4. So um, normally what I do on these is I do an exhibition case back. Uh, where I put the chopper on there, your last name, and then what number out of five. But since it's mine, it's a prototype out of five. And then I also normally, right in the uh, lower lugs here, put your serial number, one out of five, two out of five, three out of five, etc. Um, so that matches your exhibition case back. But since this is for me, uh, I did not do all that. So uh, it's just for the customer. Um, uh, so it doesn't have an exhibition case back. It just has a solid case back. But that is my build for me. So, um, hopefully you like it. I thought it was pretty kick-ass. Like I said, I really like this, uh, this super soft Italian leather bun strap. So, um, I wanted to make use of it. And, uh, I had it for probably pushing a year. And, um, decided, well, this actually is probably what I want to do with it. So, um, I did another in my orange one, uh, in the D3 build for myself. I used one of his bun straps that he did for me. And uh, it was one of those, just, here it is. Not sure what you can use it for. And then I kind of uh, adapted a watch to the strap. So um, that's my version of it. So if you're not familiar with the, uh, the Hind D line, <clears throat> like I said, I did five of each dial for customers. They have the date window on them. In Russian, I put Made in USA at the bottom of them. Um, these have uh, loom at each pip going all the way around. Uh, did the uh, typical Kamandersky style star up there. Did a star here on the crown uh, to match with it. And uh, these are a little bit more expensive of a build. I had a professional dial maker make these for me. And then with these, when I send out to the customer, they also get a laser etched full Hein D metal card, scene card. And then I put their name on them, what serial number it is, and that comes with their build and warranty card as well. So these are real thick, like, um, it feels kind of plastic, but it is metal. Um, it's the real thick metal card. Uh, so that normally comes with it as well. And um, as with every build, I always include matching beads with it and a uh, matching uh, colored box. Uh, with that same uh, same dial at the top of it. So that's, uh, that is my build of this. I wasn't really necessarily going over the watch as a whole, how it winds and all that jazz. You can see it from any other video that I got up. But um, just this is a build for me, and it's going to be a build number, and uh, it's going to be something that I keep forever. So just uh, showed it off, and uh, hopefully you like it. So uh, Hein D4 uh, build for myself. So uh, thank you guys. If you follow me, I appreciate you a ton. If you want me to build you something custom, you can reach out and I'll see what I can do. And uh, Merry Christmas, and I'll talk to you guys later.